Greetings guys, this is Magnanimous Minds Lectures Online. We are back again with uh, Mathematics and 4 Kramer's Rule, but this time around with the third order um, matrix. Here we are given three equations which uh, we are asked to solve for C. For C using Kramer's Rule. And we know that like uh, with Kramer's rule, C equals to the determinant of C over the determinant of the whole matrix. So since we're given equations, the first thing is to write down our matrix, whereby it's just the coefficients of uh, the variables we have. They're already in order A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So we'll just write the coefficients, which is 2, 1 negative 3 then it's 1 negative 2 5 then we have 3 4 negative 1 these are equals to 4 7 8 so this is uh, the matrix for these equations then to calculate delta I'll draw uh, I'll write down the delta delta equals to and then delta we just take the matrix there's a matrix the coefficients of the variables as it is so it's going to be 2 1 negative 3 then we have 1 negative 2 5 3 4 negative 1 and we know that uh, when we are calculating delta for this one we have to break it down into a second order and when we do that we take into consideration the sign matrix where it's plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus we only take this into consideration with the row or column that we are dealing with so here we're going to deal with row one so we'll only take into consideration the signs of this uh, row so to do that we are going to uh, first take two and when we take two we close this whole line this whole line and also this one and after doing that we are left with just this four so we write this down as a determinant like this and then after doing so we go to the second one in this very same row and in the second one we've got one so we close the column in which one is in and also the row in which one is in so we are going to be left with a uh, one two three and then since one it's a uh, in this position where it's a negative in the sign matrix we take we put a negative there and comes negative one then we write our matrix which will be one five three negative one and then we move on to the third uh, value which is three and then with three we close the row that three is in and also the column we are left with one three negative two and four so it's negative three and it becomes uh, one negative two three and four then from there we calculate uh, the determinant for each on every uh, we calculate the find the determinant for the third order matrix using all these second order determinants so it's going to be two two negative two times negative one it's going to be two minus four times five it's going to be twenty minus 1 times negative 1 is going to be negative 1 minus 5 times 3 it's going to be 5 it's going to be 15 sorry and then we've got negative 3 1 times 4 is going to be 4 minus then 3 times negative 2 it's going to be negative 6 times this minus is going to be plus 6 then we punch this into the calculator it's going to be 2 into 22 minus 20 minus 
then here it's one so you can put it as a minus minus one it's 15 then we have minus 3 4 plus 6 this gives us negative 54 determinant then after doing so now we calculate the determinant for c to calculate the determinant for c we substitute uh, the coefficients of c with the constants so it's going to be 2 1 negative 3 1 negative 2 5 3 4 negative 4 oh sorry here it's going to be 4 shall let me rewrite it again it's going to be negative c equals to a determinant of c equals to 2 1 3 1 negative 2 4 then it's going to be 4 7 8 then equals to like we did here we're going to take uh, 2 we close this row and this column so it's going to be 2 and then it's going to be negative 2 7 4 8 then 1 here and from the sign matrix we've got a negative it's going to be negative 1 again we close this column and this row so we're left with 1 7 3 and 8 like that and we've got a 4 so it's going to be plus 4 and then we close this column and this row we are left with this 4 it's going to be 1 negative 2 3 and 4 and from there we calculate the determinant using the smaller determinants it's going to be 2 negative 2 times 8 is negative 16 minus 4 times 7 is 28 got a minus 1 times 8 it's 8 then minus 3 times 7 is 21 then we've got plus 4 1 times 4 it's 4 minus negative 2 times 3 is uh, negative 6 times this minus then it's positive then we'll punch this into the calculator 2 negative 16 minus 28 minus 8 minus 21 plus 4 4 plus 6 and we get a negative negative 35 this is delta c then going back to the formula to get c it's going to say c equals to delta c over delta which is negative 35 over negative 50 and then punching this into the calculator negative 35 over negative 50 we get uh, 0 0.7 and that's our value for c so this is all about uh, calculating a variable in a third order uh, matrix or in a third or in third order equations using kramer's rule so what you do is that you get the determinant for the whole matrix and here's your matrix and then you get a determinant for that variable in this case it was c so you substitute the coefficients of c with the constants and then you get your your determinant and then you see the determinant of c over determinant and that's your answer for c similarly with a you'll replace a with the coef uh, the coefficients with of a with the constants even with b you'll replace the coefficients of b with the constant then calculate that matrix uh, that determinant for that matrix and it will be the determinant of that variable so thanks for watching Magnasmas Minds Lectures Online. Please do subscribe to our channel as well as liking our videos. Also do follow us on our social media platforms. Facebook where Magnasmas Minds. Instagram where Magnasmas underscore Minds. Twitter we are at Magnasmas Main 1. Thank you.